Cloud SQL Insights is a simple, open tool that helps developers quickly understand and resolve database performance issues on Cloud SQL. It provides developers with a single interface for self-service, application-centric monitoring and diagnosis of database performance issues. To access Insights, I can click Query Insights in the left navigation. I'm going to walk you through how to use Insights to identify and diagnose a database performance problem in an application. In this scenario, I'm an application developer on a team that developed a ride-sharing application. We've gotten a report from some of our users that the application is running slowly. Let's look at how I can use Insights to investigate and find the cause of the problem. Looking at the top-level Query Insights dashboard, I'll start with the Database Load All Queries graph, which can help me visually identify performance problems or spikes in database load. The database load graph confirms that there's a problem that started happening around 12 o'clock. The colors in the graph help me see that there's an increase in CPU and an even larger increase in lock weight. Now I need to find out which query is causing the problem, what the root cause of the problem is, and where in my application code the problem lies. To try to identify which query is causing the problem, I'll start with the queries table. The queries table contains normalized queries for the time frame selected. The queries in the table are sorted by total execution time by default, but I can also filter it by other criteria like CPU time, IO weight, or lock weight. The first query in the table certainly stands out as its total execution time is much larger than the rest of the entries. Like many modern applications, this application consists of several different services, and I want to know which one is causing the performance problem. Traditional monitoring tools only provide a query-centric view of performance. With Insights, I can toggle from the Queries table to the Tags table to see a list of queries tagged by business logic, giving me an application-centric view. The Tags table is especially helpful to me as a developer, since this application was built using Django's ORM rather than by writing the SQL queries myself. Insights uses SQL Commenter, an open source library, which provides instrumentation and wrappers to augment SQL from frameworks and ORMs. If your application is using one of the supported ORMs, the queries are automatically tagged with little to no change to your application code. So you're more easily able to identify query load and pinpoint where the problem may lie in your application, since you can see information like actions, controllers, and routes. The first tag query for the payment charge controller looks like it's the problem. Now that I've identified that this is likely the slow query, I want to find out why it's slow. I'm going to click through to see more details for this tag query. Insights includes sample executed query plans, which I can use to understand why the query is slow. Query plans can be complex and difficult to understand, but Insights provides visual query plans that can help me easily detect which part of the query is slow. Each part of the query shows the latency, rows returned, and the costs for that operation. In this query, an update is happening. The modify table looks to be contributing the most to the latency because of locking contention. Now that we've identified the slow query and the cause, let's confirm the source of the problem. Insights provides in-context visualization of end-to-end -end tracing to help me find which application code is causing the problem. In addition to being able to see the controller and route, it can also help me understand if a particular host or user is the source of a problem. While I'm viewing the trace visualization from within Insights in this example, Insights complements your existing APM and observability tools. Insights provides database metrics and traces through the open standard, open telemetry, and cloud monitoring and cloud trace APIs. This makes it easy to do end-to-end -end tracing in your existing tools. In this video, we've looked at ways you can use Cloud SQL Insights to help with diagnosing and troubleshooting application performance issues, all from a single intuitive UI. In the description below the video, You'll find links to a blog post introducing Insights and the documentation for Cloud SQL Insights and SQL Commenter. Or you can click on the Code Lab to try it out for yourself.